Hi, guess what? In this new unit, we have a new friend joining us. This is Miss Bunny. Can you say hi to Miss Bunny with me? Hi, Miss Bunny. I'm glad you're here. In this new unit, we are going to be exploring numbers greater than five. Are you ready to begin? Let me pour myself a cup of tea and I'll meet you at my desk. For this lesson, I thought I would use my transportation counters to make a surprise number and you have to guess what it is. So let's get started. I have one cup and watch and see what I do with my counters. Can you tell what number that looks like? Tell your teacher what it is. Did you say six? You're right. Here is my six card. Does that look somewhat similar? Yeah. And let's see how many cars I'm using. One, two, three, four, five, six. I use six objects to make the number six. Isn't that fun? Let's try it again. Let me clean up my objects. And here's my next number. I'm gonna spill it out and make my number and see if you can guess what it is. Here we go. How about that? Is that pretty easy to tell? Yeah. Tell your teacher what number did I make? Yep. Seven is right. Let's see how many objects I used. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I used seven objects to make the number seven. Let's clean this up and see what's next. Can you guess what my last number is going to be? Let's see if you're right. Let's spill this out. See if you can figure out what my number is even before I finish. <gasps> can you tell what number that is? Did you say eight? Does that look similar? Yes. Let's see if I used eight cars to make the number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. What a fun way to practice our numbers. For our next part of the lesson, I want you to grab your math book and let's open up to lesson 3.1 and we will look at the look and talk. Are you ready? Before we start, I want you to look at the picture and I'm gonna tell you a simple story to go with the picture. One day, there were three greedy mice running around the house while the cat was outside. As they were running into the kitchen, they smelled food up high on the table. So they scrambled up the leg and to their surprise, they couldn't believe all the food they saw. They saw oranges and cupcakes and a nice drink to wash it all down. But they couldn't decide where to start. Where would you start if you had to pick some of the food to eat? Tell your teacher where you would start first. I love sweets, so I probably would start with the cupcakes. Let's examine our look and talk and maybe we can find our numbers that we are practicing. Before we practice our new numbers, let's see if we can find one of something. Can you find one object? 
Tell your teacher where there is one object. I see some, do you? Oh, did you say the teapot? I saw the teapot. I see one cat. And I see one chair. And you know what I even see? I see one cake platter. Did you find those things too? How about our next number, number two? What can you find two of hidden in our picture? I know, I found two spoons. Anything else that there's two of? This one seems a little tricky to me. So let's try number three. What are there three of in our picture? I see three right away. I see three mice. Can you find three of anything else? How about four? What can you see in our picture that there are four of? Oh, I know. Look at the chair. Do you see four of something in the chair? Yep, four holes. One, two, three, four. What else can there be four of in our picture? Tell your teacher if you see one more thing with four. Did you say four animals? One, two, three, four animals. How about five? Can you find five of something? This one's a little tricky. Tell your teacher if you can find five of something. How about six? Let's see if there are six objects on our table. I see some sixes right away, do you? Yes, the plates. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three and three make six. What else is there six of? Yes, the cups. One, two, three, four, five, six. How about is there something else that you see it's a little tricky that there are six of? Look at the cat. Do you see it? How about his whiskers? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's move on to number seven. What is there seven of? Do you see him? I see the forks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is right. Four and three make seven. Anything else that there's seven of? Yes, over here, the fruit. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two and three and two make seven. Could there be anything else that seven? Tell your teacher if you can find anything else that there's seven of. I just did. Do you want me to tell you what it is? It's a little tricky. Let's look at the handles that we see. Look at the cups and let's count all of the handles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And don't forget the teapot makes seven handles. And our last number we're going to count, eight. Can you find eight of any object in our picture? Let's see. I see one right in the middle. Do you see the cupcakes? Let's count our cupcakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. There are two more groups of eight objects. They're a little tricky, but I think if you look carefully, you can find them. Tell your teacher the eight objects that you see. Let me give you a hint. Let's look at the animals. 
Between the two animals, there's eight of something. Let's count their ears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight ears on our picture. Do you want a clue for our last one? Try looking at the cat. What do you see eight of on the cat? Yes. Did you say the stripes? Let's count the stripes on the cat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We did it. I think we found all of the numbers on our page. If you can find something else at home, tell your teacher what it is. Good job, everyone. So, Miss Bunny, did you have fun exploring with us? I sure did. I think we're gonna have a great time together. Don't you think so? I wonder, as you go through this week, if you will see groups of six, seven, or eight. But, what do you wonder? See you next time.